Hey Explorers, spooky season is upon us, so that means it's a great time to have a look at my favorite optical illusion, the Pepper's Ghost Effect. The Pepper's Ghost Effect has been dazzling audiences for over a hundred years. It was created around 1862 by inventor and engineer Henry Dirks, as well as chemist John Henry Peppers, from whom it gets its name. The effect is simple, which makes it very elegant and really versatile. Light from a subject hits a translucent yet reflective surface and bounces at a 45 degree angle towards the eyes of the audience. This allows you to hang a translucent sheet or plexiglass in front of any kind of backdrop and then project upon it a ghostly image. There are so many ways to make this illusion work. You might just have to look around your house, find what you have, and get a little inventive to make your illusion. We are going to be creating a Pepper's Ghost viewer using a cardboard box, a sheet of plexiglass that fits inside, and using our make-do tools to put it all together. Our plexiglass is the most important part of the illusion because it is what bounces the light from the person or ghost towards the audience member. First step is to use my make-do safe saw and I'm just gonna take off the flaps of the cardboard box. One of the most important parts when you select your box is to make sure that it's nice and sealed and no light's going to get in from the outside. If your box has any light that's leaking through through cracks or holes, anything like that, you can use some duct tape to patch it up. Next step is to put our plexiglass inside the box. This will need to be at about a 45 degree angle between your subject, which for us is going to be a phone down here on the bottom, and then the audience, which is going to be the camera or you. First step is going to be using my mini tool to punch two holes right here in the top corners to hold screws which will hold my plexiglass sheet in place to create the illusion. So put a hole and another hole over here at the same place on the other side. Then I can take two screws, start them through the hole, and then my screwdriver will finish the job. Okay, there we go. So we've got one through. And now we've got two through. Our box is ready to go. So now we can take our translucent sheet, slide it over top of our screws, and rest it inside of the box. This will allow us to create our Pepper's Ghost effect by placing a phone or iPad into the bottom of the box. The angle is very important. If it's not the right angle, then your ghost might end up in the wrong place. Take your time and make sure that it's at a nice 45 degree angle between whatever's projecting your illusion and the people you want to see your illusion. I've selected a video that has a black background, that way that won't show up in the actual illusion, but you will see everything else. Black is very important to an optical illusion because it absorbs the light and helps the illusion look much more realistic. When you have your video ready to go, you're gonna be placing it in the bottom of the box and using your sheet to create that 45 degree angle. Now is a really great time to turn off the lights and have a look. You can use any video or image you like, maybe a ghost, a wizard, or even a silly dancing robot. We love these ones of Walter. The Pepper's Ghost Effect is still used today in cool places like theme parks, concerts, and even in movies to make characters and effects look super realistic. There you go, explorers, your very own Pepper's Ghost viewer. And just in time to amaze all your friends with this spooktacular illusion. Subscribe to Clayton's Exploration Station on YouTube and social media so you don't miss any of the spooky fun in the lab. Plus, you can head to our website, explorationstation.net, for more experiments and adventures. Be safe out there on Halloween, and you stay curious, explorers. 
trick or treat. Weekend Exploration Station.